Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another smart contract hacking tutorial. Today we'll learn how automatically we can find vulnerabilities and exploits in smart contract. We're gonna use a tool called Slitter and in this simple video tutorial you will learn what is Slitter, how it works, how to use it properly and we'll see some live technical examples and demos where Slitter can catch and can find vulnerabilities in smart contract. We'll see an example where we give the tool, the automatic tool, a contract and what kind of report it, it generates and it basically finds the vulnerability. And we will also see an example where Slither fails to find vulnerability and we will show why automated tools and Slither, the static analyzer, is not enough when it comes to smart contract security and auditing smart contract and there is no other than manual smart contract auditing. I will also share some tips and tricks of how to get the most out of Slither. So I hope you're excited and without further ado, let's get started. So first, what is Slither? Slither is a tool that automatically can find vulnerabilities in Solidity Smart Contract. It's called also Static Analyzer. Why it's called static? Because it's basically statically analyzed the smart contract code and based on different settings and signatures that it has, it detects different patterns of vulnerabilities such as no return value, re-entry attacks, and much more. Slitter is a tool that is written in Python and you will need to install Python on your machine, either if it's Windows, Linux, or Mac, in order to use and run Slither. So the way to think about it is basically Slither is like a snake where you're basically gonna throw on him a smart contract and he's gonna eat the contract and scan it until he finds all the vulnerability that are exist in his database. Once it's finished, it's gonna export and generate a short report showing you what kind of vulnerabilities it found on which lines of codes and which functions. Now remember guys, Slither does not come instead of manual smart contract audit by auditing firm or either if it's auditing contest or a private audit because Slither sometimes misses vulnerabilities, right? We'll see some examples, live example where we give Slither a smart contract and it's not able, it's going to be failing, it will fail to detect some critical vulnerabilities in smart contracts. So this is the repository of Slither. It's under Critic Organization, which is basically a organization under Trail of Bit, which is a very known leading smart contract auditing and security firm. And as you can see here, this is the logo and repository, all the explanation about Slither that I already explained and covered. Here you can see and deep dive into all the different features. You can see some kind of use it, but don't worry, I will show you some examples in a moment. Installation guide using a daughter care, Git or pip, which is package manager for Python and how to integrate it to your smart contract project. And here you can see a list of all the detectors that Slither is able to detect. Remember, it's limited by the vulnerabilities that it can detect because it's an automated tool that based on signatures. And this is also called static analysis because it's gonna statically scan the code and find the vulnerabilities based on the signatures that it has on its database. Unlike other tools and other methods like fuzzing and symbolic execution where we basically try to run and test the smart contracts with different kind of inputs in Slither we don't do that we don't execute a smart contract we don't send transaction to it we just scan the code and try to find vulnerabilities automatically it's called static analysis and this is a very known term that comes from traditional web 2 cybersecurity. it's called static analyzers another cool uh, page in the github repository is the Slither trophies and the Slither rect Slither trophies is basically projects that were saved thanks to the fact that Slither was able to find vulnerabilities in the smart contract. And you can see here a lot of examples where projects was, weren't hacked because Slither was able to find the vulnerabilities. On the other side, in the Slither rect section, you can see projects that got hacked 
in the recent years like DeForce in 2020 or a Furu Combo or Force DAO in 2021 that got hacked by very basic uh, common vulnerabilities that could be detected just by running Slither on the smart contracts. And you can see how much value was lost and how much money was stolen from the smart contracts from $2 million up to $25 million that in this case was covered, but in other cases, $15 million were just stolen. Now let's get started to installing Slither. So the first thing that you need to do if you don't have already is download and install Python from the official website, python.org. Download the relevant version for your computer and we will be using Python 3. So either if you have Windows or Mac or, or Linux, Python works on all these operating system. Just make sure to download and install it. It's a very straightforward process. Now, once you have Python installed, you will have to install Slither. You can simply do so by just running the command pip3 or pip install slither dash analyzer. Pip is Python package manager and once you will run this command it will automatically download and install Slither in your computer in your machine. The first thing that Slither is going to show you is all hits help. Now you don't need all this uh, information. It's a lot of information. You can see here example of how to use the tool. You can give it a target file and some flag parameters that will tell him what kind of scan to do, different options, different parameters and you can just call the Slither command together with a smart contract or a project directory in order to tell Slither to start scan smart contracts. You can use this help basically Slither dash H or Slither space dash dash help to see all the different options and flags that you can use in order to narrow down your scan and use more advanced options. Now here in the success folder, we're going to run Slither on a Foundry project that contains two smart contracts that are vulnerable to re-entry attacks. By the way, these are two exercises from the complete practical smart contract hacking course. And if you want to learn more about smart contract hacking and become one day a smart contract auditor, or just learn how to write secure con smart contracts, check out the link in the description below for limited time discount. These two contracts contain re-entry vulnerabilities and now we want to see if Slither is able to detect and tell us about those vulnerabilities. So I'm simply going to run the command Slither dot once I'm in the terminal on the selected on the folder with all the Foundry projects and it's automatically going to scan all the smart contracts within this project. And Slither is running and as you can see it basically generated a very nice output for us uh, divided by three colors okay so the first color is basically high or critical vulnerabilities that it was able to detect and as you can see the first vulnerability that is detected is reentry and ether bank dot withdraw dot withdraw if it can also tell us the line of codes so it's between line 17 to 27 and gives us details about the vulnerabilities that it found all the details uh, including external calls here show us shows us that the external call was in line 22 and it shows us exactly how the external call looks like and state variables that written after the call you can see that the message sender balance was changed to zero after we make an external call and send ETH to the user. And it also tells us that it can be used to be exploited using cross-function re-entry, either by uh, using the balances state variable or calling again the deposit ETH or withdraw ETH. And it even gives us some reference of documentation of what is re-entry vulnerabilities and how to prevent it. Now here, the yellow ones are kind of like medium severity vulnerabilities that it found and it want to tell us about some kind of usage, not safe usage with div in the math library. And this is uh, other uh, detections. Here we have another interesting one, the reentry in apes, apedrop.mint. So it was able to detect the other reentry in the other smart contract, but it marked it as medium when it's actually critical because this reentry allows us to do very malicious things. I'm not going to go through what it's going to do here because if you're going to take the smart contract hacking course, I don't want to spoiler you and I want you to have fun while solving this exercise, but it basically tells 
us that there is an external call here with safe mint because the IRC, the ERC721 token gonna make an external call to the two address and then the state variable are being updated because we don't follow the checks effect interactions. We update the state only after we make this external call. So it gives us all the relevant details about the vulnerabilities that it was able to find regarding what is the vulnerability, where exactly it happens, on which contract, which function, which lines of code, and even give us reference to learn more about what is the vulnerability and how we can fix that. And this is some extra details and a low severity bugs that it found in our code, like different versions of Solidity that are being used in the project. So we don't have just one Solidity version in all the contracts, but we use different versions and different kind of other low severity of uh, detections that we can also take a look at. Now, this was an example of how Slither can detect vulnerabilities and protect our smart contracts for being hacked. But now I want to show you another example that's gonna show you why Slither is not enough. And we will see how Slither misses a critical vulnerability in smart contract. And here you can see that I changed already to the fellow folder. And this is basically the code that we're gonna examine through Slither. This is another exercise, a bit more advanced that basically include some replay attacks and some more of a logical exploitation of the smart contracts. We don't exploit like common vulnerability like reinversy, but something a bit more advanced, a bit more logical vulnerability. And this time we'll try to run Slither on this smart contract, redhawksvap.sol, and let's see if it's able to detect the vulnerability. So Slither dot will just execute Slither on all the contracts in this folder. Now it found some a uh, low severity and medium severity, and but we don't see any high severity vulnerability, and it's definitely gonna miss the vulnerability that this smart contract has. It's a very interesting vulnerability, a logical vulnerability that I'm not gonna get into now because. It's just gonna spoil spoiler you and I really want you to give it a try and solve it yourself and you can do so by signing up to the smart contract hacking course and you will have this exercise and plenty of other exercises that will take your knowledge and skills in smart contract security to the next level. So I'm very excited for you to just try it yourself and try to find this logical vulnerability that Slither, this automated tool, just missed. So we learned that Slither is a great tool for automated smart contract static analysis and vulnerabilities detection, and it covers plenty of vul vulnerabilities. Most of them are common, like reentry attacks or unchecked returns or unsafe uh, overflows and underflows and the logical, the more advanced vulnerabilities Slither is usually gonna miss. Now, it doesn't mean that Slither is not good. You should still use it before you do an audit. And maybe you are a smart contract, a developer that wants to get an audit for your smart contract. Now, the first thing you should do, you should first try and run Slither and see and fix all the common vulnerabilities before you use an auditing firm and ask them to secure your contract. So definitely, 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 if you're a smart contract developer, before you get an audit, run Slither on your code and try to find and fix all the common vulnerability. But, and this is a huge but, do not rely on Slither when it comes to your smart contract security. Because as we saw, Slither missed vulnerability, a critical vulnerability, and it misses a lot of critical vulnerabilities. Because if you think about it, it's just a static analyzer with specific signatures and some vulnerabilities are too complex for just an automated Python tool to detect. That's why you need more creativity and you need talented auditors that will look at your code from the attacker mindset and will try to exploit it. So remember, Slither is never a replacement for a smart contract audit, but it is a prerequisite before booking in an auditing firm. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, definitely smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos, educational videos about smart contract security. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.